Welcome back to Mornings with Jerisha. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It is Friday. It is fierce, fearless, fabulous, fantabulous, and focused Friday. How are y'all doing on this Friday? Are you super excited that it's Friday? Oh my goodness, you made it. You made it to Friday. You know, it's very, it's, it's, it's really something because this is, we are officially at the last Friday, the last day of the month. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we are officially at the last day of September And it just so happens to be a Friday. And on Friday, what do we do? Yes, we are happy and excited that it's Friday, but that is not the time to slack off. That is not the time to kick up your feet and rest and relax. Although I'm not saying that we shouldn't be, you know, have time in our, we shouldn't put time in our, in our um, schedule to do that as well, but we still have work to do. So yes, thank goodness it's Friday. Or the grind includes Friday. Just know TGIF, the grind includes Friday. That means just because it's Friday, it is not a day for you to just chill out and not get stuff done and not be focused on your dreams, your goals, and your purpose. Because that is an everyday, that is a daily thing. So on this Friday, simply because it's Friday and we're super excited about it being Friday, I feel like we need to we need to bring in another another word for today because we are trying to get stuff done like we always do right but we are trying to finish stuff up so let's just say today we're going to call it finish it friday finish it friday that means you are still working and today you did not come to slack off or wind down simply because it's friday So take this as this is your accountability check-in. And I'm asking, did you get the work done that you set out to get done this week? So that is your Friday finisher list. Are you still working on your Friday finisher list? What is your Friday finisher look like today? So I really feel like as we are just really marching into October, if you haven't already been working on your goals for October, guess what? You can start today. If you haven't already started working on your goals for the quarter, the last quarter, you can start today. And I want us to really dive in and talk about how to really have that strong finish. So I've talked about, you know, finishing or, you know, really just jumping into the fourth quarter and just going all in. But I feel like we need to really have those steps in place so that we can say, you know what, this it's Friday, it's finish it Friday, and I'm going to finish it strong, okay, today. Meaning you're gonna finish up, you're gonna close out the month and finish this Friday strong. And so I think that in order for us to finish it, we really not, we know that we have to have our mindset ready, set, and, you know, just ready to do the work. So we can't have this relaxed, kick up your feet (laughs) mindset. We have to have that go get them mindset. And so today I think it, I think it's so fitting for me to give you some steps to really help you tap into your finish it Friday. And, and so one of the things that I think you really need to do in order to finish it Friday and just finish it period, but we're just going to roll with the finish it Friday is recommit to your goal. Now, if you are all about this Friday finisher list and creating that, if you don't know what that is, that is again, the items that you're going to put on your list at the beginning of the week that you need to get done. Like there's no if, ands, or buts about it. It is, you know, non-negotiable items that in projects and Things that's going to go on your list that you have to get done by today, the end of the business day today, right? So that is your Friday finisher list. And sometimes we have to take a step back. So I know the week can be crazy. You can have 50 million things going on at once. 
but we have to recommit ourselves maybe even halfway in through the week, even if it's Friday, you know, Friday on this Friday and you're like, you know what? I have, I've had a lot of stuff going on this week. And now that I'm here at Friday, I need to recommit and really refocus. And guess what? That's okay. Review your list that you had this week. Review it. I actually look at my list because this is a list that I set at the beginning of the week. So I am looking at this list to make sure I'm checking in, I'm checking off, and that's what we really wanna be doing. Check in, check off. Check off the items that you had on your list and it feels so good, oh my goodness. When I tell you it is the best feeling to know that you have items on your list and you are checking them off or scratching them out and you are slowly but surely getting down to having all of your items completed. That is the best feeling. But sometimes we need to check the items on our list. Make sure you're not putting items on your list that that is, you know, that's not really attainable. So if you're working on a project, you need to break it down. Break down into bite-sized chunks that then you can put on there. So we need to be realistic with our Friday finisher list, first of all. Make sure you have items on your list that you can actually get done. I'm not saying not to stretch yourself, because we need to be stretched. However, be realistic with the items that you're going to add to your Friday finisher list and have that check in. Recommit yourself, recommit your goals. So it's Friday. I have six items. You know, you can have six items still on your Friday finisher list. Check in to make sure you're going to be able to complete those things. And if you find that there's items that you're not going to be able to complete, then you know for the next following Friday, Add those, so carry those over. I call those carryovers. <laughs> carry those over until that next following week, okay? But we don't wanna be carrying over all the same thing like week after week after week. If you're doing that, we need to, we need to reevaluate the, that particular task and see why it is that you're constantly carrying that over from week to week to week. Again, we really have to make our action steps that we're going to take, make them doable, right? So, and, and make your action steps effort driven and not, not necessarily, um, you know, outcome driven. So once you have identified whatever it is that's going to, that, that task that you're going to focus on, determine the steps that, that you need to take, right? What are the steps that you can do? What are some of the things that you can start doing um, today. So say for instance, if you have on your list, on your Friday finisher list, like I want to um, exercise, you know, my plan is to uh, exercise 30 minutes, um, you know, Monday, Wednesday, you know, today. That's, that's perfectly fine, right? So how, how are you going to, how, how, how are you going to work? I mean, how are you going to work out? Like, what does that look like? So are you going to get on the Peloton? Are you, are you going to go into the gym? You know, we need to really drive, uh, or, or really, you know, take those, 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 uh, the items that we have on our list and really break it down a little bit further for us so that we can really look at the effort, you know, make sure it's effort driven and we're pushing ourselves, Right pushing ourselves to complete the action and not just say, you know what, I want to lose weight. Well, guess what? That's not, I'm going to lose weight. That's not, if you have that on your list for this week, no, absolutely not. You have to be more specific than, you know, this week I'm going to, I'm going to lose five pounds. Well, that sounds great, but how are you going to do that? So if you then break it down and say, okay, I'm going to work out 30 minutes here, an hour here, what are you going to do? So those are items that you're going to put on your Friday finisher list. It does not have to be just project driven. It can be any items that you want to get done and you're absolutely committed to getting it done and making sure that is a task that you're going to complete by Friday. Whether it's um, from, from you know your personal, from health and wellness, um, from your work, you know your professional business, it doesn't matter finances. Whatever that task is, whatever that project is, it can go on your Friday finisher list and make sure, make sure it's going to be realistic and doable and you're breaking it down to where it's not just this, oh, this is, you know, this is the outcome 
that I want. I want to lose weight, but that, okay, that's great. You need to break it down a little bit more and then identify what you need to stop doing. Now, this is good. This is really, really good. And, and so I'm not saying this is something that needs to go on your list, but you do need to identify those things that are getting in your way and stopping you from achieving your goal. So this goes back down to me saying when you keep when you keep having that task or that you know that something that's on your to-do list that you keep carrying over into the next following week. You know, if you find that okay, I've carried it over from, you know, from this week to the next week to the next following week and you get to the end of the month and it's still on your list, I need you to circle that item. I mean, honestly, you should have already circle that item and really tap into why it is, what is stopping you from achieving this? Is it realistic, right? Is it realistic? There has to be something more to, as to why that is continuing to be on your list, unless it's tied to, you know, just something that you're having to do every single week. So that is a little different. If it's, you know, a huge project that you're working on and this task is a reoccurring task, then that, that is different. I completely, you know, understand that. And yes, it should stay on your list, but you need to be able to see the progress and you having that on your list. And then we also need to be identifying what we need to continue doing. So if this is working for you, if you have started this Friday finisher list and it's working for you, kudos to you. High five, keep doing it. Don't slack off. Make sure come Sunday or Monday, whatever day that you designate for completing and I mean, well, for creating that that uh, Friday finisher list. Make sure you keep doing it. Add it to your calendar so that you will sit down and create that list for yourself. And then come Friday, you have that same same amount of time blocked on your calendar, so you can check and check in with yourself and make sure that you've completed the items on your list and what you, you know, how, what was the outcome? What are the items that you're gonna have to, you know, carry into the next following week? So we need to make sure that we're gonna identify what we need to uh, continue doing. And then also we need to identify what we need to start doing. So maybe you have been listening and you're like, you know, it sounds good to try to do a Friday finisher list and you haven't done it yet, please jump in and do your Friday finisher list. It's no time like the present. Yes, it's Friday. Guess what? Position yourself and set yourself up for next week so that you can start. You can even start today of saying, you know what? By next Friday, I'm going to be working on X, Y, Z, and this is what I'm going to get done. And this is how I'm going to break it down. And every single day. So it's not one of those things that you started. I mean, you create the list on Sunday or Monday, and then you don't revisit it till Friday. No, it's an everyday thing because you need to see what's on your list every day that you can get done. So make sure you look at what you need to start doing, what you're currently doing, and what you need to start doing. Again, if you are struggling with being productive, if you are struggling with you know, being productive and accomplishing your task, staying on focus, I mean, staying organized and staying focused, then you need to be utilizing resources. You need to be listening and actually taking steps and executing on your goals, your dreams, and your purpose. And what better way to do that but having a Friday finisher list and starting with something small, You don't have to put 50 tasks on there. To me, that is really stretching. That is being an overachiever. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that if that is you. I feel like, you know, if that's you, we, we need to own who we are and just roll with it. However, if that is not you and you, you know, you just want to start small, put a few items on your list and then see how you can fit that into your schedule throughout the week to get those items done so that by Friday, you can celebrate. You can celebrate knowing that you will be finished with your Friday finisher list. You can check off and have checked off so many tasks. You felt like you had the most productive week because ultimately that's what we're looking for. It is Finish it Friday. There are certainly things on my list that I have to finish. So I know 
you have stuff on your list as well that you need to finish as well. So how do you plan to do that? What is your plan of action as you go into the weekend? And I want to say this, I don't know about you, but it's just, it is such a great feeling knowing that I have had a productive week as I go into my weekend versus knowing that there are so many things that that were undone. So there were so many tasks that I just left on the table, did not complete and could have completed. Because there's one thing to have tasks there and another thing to know that you were not as productive as you could have been. So check that as well. What can you, what can you do that you haven't been doing? That's where we have to evaluate ourselves. We have to look at what we're doing from the day to day and making sure we're staying on task, making sure we are focused and laser focused. Because again, it's Focus Friday. Every day is a day for us to be focused. But making sure we are laser focused on the task and the things that we need to be doing. Because that is the only way that you are going to level up. That is the only way that you're going to grow. That is the only way that you're going to keep moving forward on your goals, on your dreams, and walking into your purpose. We have to do things different from what we were doing. Even if you're looking at what you did yesterday, what can you do today differently from what you did yesterday that's gonna help you win and win again and win again? Because ultimately, that's what you wanna be doing. You wanna be winning with your goals, winning with your dreams, and walking in your purpose. So start your Friday finisher list, start it today, work it, see how it works, see if it works for you. If it does, continue working your Friday finisher list. It is truly about consistency because if you're going to be consistent with making sure you're going to take the steps and executing on your goals, your dreams, and walking in your purpose every single day, guess what? You are going to win in your goals, your dreams, and truly walk into your full purpose. I'm telling you what I know because I understand. I understand how it is and how it feels when you have 50 million things going on at one time and you're pulled so many different directions and you're trying to figure out how can I be productive? How can I stay organized? How can I stay focused? I know Trust me, I do when you have children and you have family and you have work and you you have everything. So we have our work and our business. We have everything that we're doing, yet we want to make sure we're going to stay focused. So I'm telling you, start trying these tools, utilize these tips, utilize your resources and see how it works for you. Start small. You don't have to start with this huge, you know, this huge thing, like just because someone else is doing something, you don't have to do that. So I would love to hear if you started your Friday finisher list, let me know how it is working for you. Let me know how it's working for you. Again, this is your accountability check-in. And so how, how is stuff working? How is your Friday finisher working, finisher list working for you? How did you get your, I mean, did you get your work done this week? If you didn't come on, we got to check. We got to check ourselves. We got to check ourselves so that we can go and make some changes and do what we need to do so that we can start leveling up in our lives and our businesses just across the board. So I hope y'all ready. I hope you are ready. I hope you are ready because you have goals, you have dreams and you have a purpose to work on, stop. Stop making excuses for yourself. Stop sitting around acting like you don't have anything to do. You need to get yourself up. It don't matter what time you're listening to this. It doesn't matter what day. Maybe it's not Friday that you're listening to this. It doesn't matter what day. 
Don't let that be the reason why you're not working on you. Don't let that be the reason why you haven't started writing down the items that you need to be doing every single day. Don't let that be the reason why you have not gotten clear on your goals and made that commitment to yourself to be productive, to be focused. Don't let that be the reason, okay? Yes, it may not be Friday when you're listening to this. It may not be morning when you're listening to this, but that does not mean that you can't start executing. So again, I hope you're ready. I hope you're ready. It's time to execute. Let's get it. Let's go.